The GoPros own the action camera market basically since the GoPro was invented. There's been a few, you know, competitors that have kind of popped up and tried to compete with GoPro, but uh, you know, let's be honest, nothing really compared to the GoPro until now. And now we have a competitor that's popped up. They're known for great quality and uh, they have a new product that's aimed to go head to head with GoPro. Could this be the GoPro killer? The DJI Osmo Action is just a hair taller, a little tiny bit bigger than the GoPro Hero 7. Although I don't think it makes you know that much of a difference either way. It's just very, very small. Both cameras shoot in a 4K 60 as their max resolution. Now here's kind of an interesting, important spec. The DJI Osmo Action does 100 megabytes per second, while the GoPro does 78. Both cameras have 12 megapixels. Both cameras will do 240 frames per second for that ultra buttery smooth slow motion. The DJI Osmo Action is water resistant down to 11 meters, while the GoPro Hero 7 is water resistant down to 10. It's one meter. I don't know that that's ever gonna make a difference to anyone that's actually using these cameras. I think maybe DJI did this just to kind of check the box. Both cameras allow you to use voice control to control the camera. Um, GoPro does live streaming, so if you do any kind of live streaming where you're out and about, um, you know maybe that's important to you. Both cameras have very similar uh, functions as far as they both do hyperlapse, time lapse, and like a story mode. I think uh, I think one of the big things is the DJI. Osmo Action comes in at about $350, while the GoPro uh, is about $400. And what I want to do is I want to show you uh, the differences between the GoPro and the Osmo Action. And uh, I got them both mounted side by side, and uh, we're going to see if one is better than the other. Our resolution is 2.7K at 60 frames per second. So uh, we'll start there and see how that goes first. So as far as audio, um, first I'll do the sound on the GoPro, and that's right now. This is the GoPro, the GoPro natural sound. And now I'll do the Osmo action. So this is the natural sound, no filters. kind of see the difference we're in a low light situation uh, it's a cloudy day in the woods on a trail so you can kind of see how these cameras are performing I can't see it because I haven't got back to the computer yet what a hike uh, it's a sure hike but there's quite a bit of elevation coming up. It's that moment when you can start to hear water when you're, you know, when you're hiking to a waterfall. Um, so you know you're getting close. And uh, just over the edge here, there's an awesome stream. And I think as we get closer to this waterfall, you'll really get to see these cameras perform. Not that it really matters, but the LCD screens, I think the Osmo action looks a little more cinematic while the, uh, the GoPro seems to be a little bolder with its colors, you know, a little heavier on the saturation. So, uh, I, you know, that's just the LCD screen, but, uh, you know, cool to know. The GoPro has image stabilization on uh, 1080p, 120 frames per second. The Osmo Action disables their rock steady when you get up the frame rates this high. So uh, that's what we have them on 1080 and uh, we're on 120 frames per second. Uh, GoPro is image stabilized, the Osmo Action isn't.
the moment when your hike pays off, when you reach the waterfall. Each camera's in 1080 at 60 frames per second. So let's add one more player to the game. The DJI Osmo Pocket versus the DJI Osmo Action versus the GoPro Hero 7. We're in 1080. The Osmo Pocket has a gimbal and the other two have their image stabilization or rock steady turned on. So hopefully this is smoother than what it feels like hiking. Sunset Rock, that rock, trying to get a sunset shot, but uh, sometimes conditions just don't work out. So some of my observations, the uh, DJI Osmo Action is cropped in just a little bit compared to the GoPro and you can see that in the side-by-side -side footage. Uh, in my opinion, the DJI has a little more realistic color while the GoPro seems to be a little bit, just a little bit oversaturated. The DJI Osmo Action seems to have a little bit of a brighter image uh, and does, I think it does pretty well in low light while the, the GoPro is just, I mean, it's just a smudge, but you know, it's just not quite as bright. And I don't think it quite does as good as, as the uh, DJI Osmo Action with low light. Also the DJI Osmo Action, uh, from my opinion, uh, does a little bit better when you're in the water, a little bit uh, better as far as image quality. Um, and I think you can kind of see that in the side-by-side footage. The GoPro has, in my opinion, a little bit of a sharper image. And uh, if you go frame by frame when you're comparing these two side by side, you're going to notice the GoPro just has a cleaner, a little bit cleaner, sharper image. All the details are just a little bit more defined and a little sharper. I think the DJI Osmo Action wins when it comes to stabilization at 4K but at 2.7, 1080 and your lower resolutions, I think the GoPro uh, has a little better image. So the big question, which one's better? Which one would you buy? If you could buy one, which one do you buy? That's a tough question because these cameras come in, I mean, so close to even. Um, it's, it's tough. I think for me, I think they're so close that if I could only buy one, I'm gonna go with the DJI Osmo Action because simply it's $50 cheaper. Uh, GoPro, and now I've already started seeing some sales for the GoPro Hero 7 to drop it down to that 350 price mark. And that's gonna be a really smart choice because if not, GoPro's going to lose sales uh, to the DJI Osmo Action. They are so close. Um, $50 is, a, you know, that's, that's a big enough difference to make people go that direction rather than GoPro. Now, GoPro has a huge name in the market. A lot of people are not even gonna be aware that the DJI Osmo Action exists. 
Um, so GoPro is going to have that part of the market until DJI, you know, gets the camera a little more marketed, a little more out there. And, uh, you know, then if GoPro doesn't respond to the price point, they're, they're going to face some struggling with this. However, since they are a appearing to respond to the price point, if they keep them even, I think GoPro will still command the majority of the market. DJI is a much lower recognized name brand. And, uh, you know, GoPro just is, it commands that action camera market. It, it, they've built a reputation and delivered when it comes to results. Going into this video, I wanted to believe that the DJI Osmo Action was going to be the better camera. And I have seen some, uh, some YouTube reviews where they are kind of swaying towards the DJI Osmo Action. But when I did all my test footage and I got it back, put it on the computer and started looking at it, I was, I was pretty surprised to be honest with you. Um, GoPro really has a nice image. And uh, for me, that's, that's really important. You know, less noise, sharper uh, details, more details. I think what you've seen here is you've seen now a, a reputable brand in DJI now going directly after GoPro. Um, now, there's one point I wanna highlight is the DJI Osmo Action has a screen on the front. And if you do any kind of vlogging, and, and, and you know, maybe you're not doing vlogging, maybe you're just skiing and you wanna, you know, you wanna hold it out there and see yourself, uh, that, that screen is huge uh, to be able to make sure you're framed properly. Now, both, both cameras are, uh, you know, a wide perspective, but the, the fact that you can see exactly what's framed is gonna save you a lot of lost footage. You know, how many times, if you have experience with GoPros, or, or similar action cameras. How many times do you get back to the computer and realize you had just framed it, just just not quite how you want it? For me, it's happened a lot. And uh, this, this little screen is gonna really help reduce that bad footage to make sure you have a frame shot the way that you're expecting. And I think that means a lot. Uh, you know, and at the end of the day, every person's different and their intent behind purchasing the camera or their use or their purpose is, is they're all gonna vary and be different. So I think you really need to look at the differences that I've highlighted in the video, see how they align with your purpose for having an action camera, and, and then make an educated choice you know, to purchase whatever one you think is best aligned with, with your goals. For me personally, if I can only buy one, um, I think I'm gonna go with the DJI Osmo Action for one reason and that's because of the screen on the front. I do do things like skiing and you know some action stuff where you wanna be able to frame yourself properly. So I, I hope you really got something out of the video. Uh, I enjoyed making it for you and getting all the different footage. It was an awesome experience comparing these two cameras and then you know, kinda eye-opening to see them on the computer screen, how they really, really compare to each other as far as quality and features. Uh, I, I just I had a blast making the video for you. I hope you get something out of it. I know I did. I can't wait to see you on the next video.